Hello vlog. It is a Wednesday. It's hump day. It is hump day. It is the 27th today. Um, <clears throat> I worked this morning. I didn't end up having Mia. So, um, I worked for the trucking company from home and then got a bunch of that stuff taken care of and some loads booked and... After that, I ended up leaving to go to the bank, and I had to run and pick up a friend's prescriptions from her in Wapaka. So I ended up doing that and stopping at the Dollar Tree. In the back, as you can see, I found some Dollar Tree items, so I had to pick those up. Just a couple to add to my first big Dollar Tree haul of March, because you know what? It's coming up. It's what? Two days away? A day away? Tomorrow's the 28th, oh, and then it's March. <clears throat> you guys, it's March. My mommy leaves on Friday. I think I talked about that in a previous vlog or previously in this vlog. I really need to get better at... <coughs> Alrighty then. I need to get better at um, blogging and at starting and stopping vlogs. Like, I seriously, I don't know. I start, I get going, and then it's like I quit, and then I don't know what I vlogged about or where I left off, and I'm really, I need to get up on this vlogger game, y'all. Um, last night, speaking of vlogger game, I ended up watching a bunch of videos about cameras um, on my page, there is a review that I did for the Canon EOS M10, and you guys, I just, I, I thought I was in love with it. It takes amazing pictures, amazing pictures, but, like, the lens on the front of it is so big and it's kind of heavy, so when I'm trying to vlog with it, I... I just don't like how it fits. I wish I could hold something like I'm holding my phone right now or put it on like one of my um, gorilla tripod type things, whatever you call those. I don't know, but you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, so I started looking around again and you guys, that that camera came like in a bundle pack. So it was, it was pretty pricey um, and it has the flip screen so you can see what you're doing, but it flips up like above the camera. So when I'm looking at you guys and I'm using my phone to vlog, if you see me looking this way, it's because right now I can see myself in the viewfinder or the screen, shall I say. But when I turn and look here, now it looks like I'm talking directly to you guys. Um, and I can just kind of see the image of myself over here to know that I'm at least in frame and whatnot. But mine has the flip out um, viewfinder on the very top and when I vlog and I look at it like I'm looking up here talking and I can't like train myself to look directly into the viewfinder so that was one of the other things I didn't like about it but I knew that if I did it enough I'd probably get over it and be able to just get past that part but it's so heavy in the I just don't like the big lens on it for vlogging. I know so many people use it as a vlogging camera and I should just suck it up and try. But then I'm going to have to get all of my footage off the camera, put it onto my phone where I edit my videos, and then get it from my phone back off onto and load it into YouTube. Yeah. The program that I was trying to put on my computer never ended up working out the best. Um, so there were some glitches with it and how it downloaded or something. So I haven't been using that program. <clears throat> but I don't know. I don't know. I, I watched a bunch of videos and everyone uses these tiny little... Um, what is is it Canon too? I believe it's Canon as well. It's the G7 Mark II, G7X Mark II, something like that. And it also has the flip up viewfinder on the top. So I'm not sure how much I would like it, but it's so much smaller and compact that I would feel more like I'm vlogging with my phone versus vlogging with this big chunky like DSLR looking camera 
and the EOS M10 really isn't that big either so I keep telling myself either sell that one and try the G7X Mark II or just keep it and use it and keep trying to figure out how like I know how to work it but I don't know if I like the settings on it and how I look in it or how I vlog in it this is so ridiculous why am I even talking about this I don't know. Good question, Mandy. Um, anyway, I worked all morning. I got all of that stuff done and out of the way. I ran to my friend's house. I took of care of her puppy and her animals and let them out and fed them and all of that good stuff. And that way she can go to the gym right after work and she doesn't have to leave work, drive all the way home, and then take care of all of her animals and then drive back to the gym. So I do that quite often for her. So I did that. I ran to a pack on and picked up prescriptions for another friend. Um, and I brought those back. I stopped at my mom's where I just left from. And now I'm back home. Uh, I do have, oh, I did stop at the Dollar Tree like I told you guys. So I have some more stuff, just some new products that were out and I thought were really cool and wanted to share. So you guys, you know you'll be seeing that from me. Um, another detrizzle haul will be coming soon. Um, and I know last night I was vlogging when we had made supper and stuff, and I wasn't sure if the kids were going to have school today or not. Well, they did have school, and we did end up getting, I think it was like 6.5 inches of snow overnight. Yeah, it didn't even stop snowing today, which is Wednesday until... Was it like almost noon or 11-ish before it quit snowing? And six and a half to seven inches in most parts of our area. <laughs> I'm so sick of snow. I am so sick of snow. Sick, 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 sick. So, yeah, there's that. Um, I apparently wiped all of my lipstick off I'm rocking this new nose ring I don't know if I like it because to me when I look at the camera it looks like there's just like a big crusty booger stuck to my face yeah baby um, I do see that I got some highlights showing oh some Dollar Tree makeup I got some highlights on my cheeks so that is all that is all people that is it um, I do want to hurry up and vlog because I got some more friendy mail. I got me some random happy mail and I want to put that in the vlog because I've been waiting to open it, which is so ridiculous. I don't know why I didn't open it already, but I wanted it on camera. So I will be doing that later. Um, and now it is, what is it? I can't see with all my glasses on. It's 211. It's too loving, people. It is so warm in this car. Dude, I just keep, I keep checking this, like catching this highlight right here on my cheek. Is it the makeup working its magic or is my face finally starting to get thinner? I don't know, but well, whatever it is, it's working, honey. Yeah, okay. Um, Rob's at work. Parker actually just messaged me and asked me if I would take him to Fleet Farm because he's not working today and his truck, oh, his truck is not working again. So he's waiting for a part on that to work on it so that he can get that back and running because it stinks when your kid is old enough to drive and doesn't have a vehicle. Um, so... He apparently bought more subs or something like that and needs wood now to make a box for them. I don't know. I don't want to know. You don't even have a vehicle right now. Why are you buying speakers and subs and whatever else? But when he asked me to do something, I try. So I don't really have any other plans. So once the kids get home from school, I will probably pack them up and then we will... Oh, cramp in my foot cramp cramp in my foot <sighs> okay 
I will pack them up and then we will head to my mom's. I'm sure Jazz is going to want to stay there and get her schoolwork done or just hang out at my mom and my aunt's. And Avery might come with or I'm not sure what he'll do, but I'll probably end up running Parker to Fleet Farm so he can go check out what he needs to check out. Um, and if we do go later or unless he changes his mind, you never know. I will try to vlog some of that. Um, I also have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Oh, I'm so nervous about it. Um, I told the lady straight out that I can't pay, like, I can pay some of the money towards an appointment, but I can't pay for the appointment because my deductible still hasn't been met for insurance. And she said because of what's going on, she doesn't even care. She's like, come in and pay 20 bucks and that'll be enough. We'll just bill you the rest. Um, it's not something I've really talked about or shared too much because it's been, uh, it's, it's just been an ongoing issue for me for like two months now because it started in the first week of January. Um, this probably sounds so weird, but I might as well just tell you, it's not like anything TMI crazy or anything like that. Um, but I, I woke up in the middle of the night, like you guys, it is so hard for me to sleep to begin with. And I know everybody probably says that, but I suffer from horrible, horrible, horrible nerve damage in my feet from my type 1 diabetes and from having it for so long. And I'm on the best nerve medication and pain medication. It's not even pain medication. It's just supposed to help help with those nerve issues in your feet um, and or hands and um, I'm on gabapentin and I'm on the strongest dose that you can get and I hate taking pills to begin with and it doesn't seem like it does anything anyway so anyway I'm on this med and I have been forever because of how bad my feet are and I have nights where I will literally just lay there and cry because the pain is so intense and my feet feel like they're freezing cold. They feel like they're on fire at the same time. They feel like there are the pins and needles sensation. But when I say pins and needles, it's not like your foot fell asleep. It's the it's that underlying feeling that your foot fell asleep. There literally feels like there's a thousand pins and just knives and going into your skin and it got to the point where my feet had no feeling on the bottom but now they're so extra sensitive um like there's nights even when if my husband would have the fan on the circulation from the wind um or the air moving whatever um just having that that feeling hit my feet can put me into so much pain it literally feels like someone's just stabbing me repeatedly over and over and it's so intense. I don't wish this pain on anyone, anyone, not even my worst enemies. I don't wish it on anyone. And there's just no way to emphasize how truly bad this pain is. So I suffer with this all the time. Late at night, it's always worse when you put your feet up and those nerves have a chance to just sit there and start firing all crazy and you're not moving. So it's insane. Well, the first week of July, um, this is so weird, um, my big toe on my left foot would, like, start pulling away. Like, if this was my big toe, it would start doing this and, like, twitching, and it would just pull away from all my other toes and just constantly have, like, this muscle spasm twitch. And then it got to the point where it would pull away from my other toes and bend backwards. This is so gross, but I'll actually put a picture of what it looks like when my foot's cramping and how contorted it gets in my toe. So I dealt with this muscle spasm and these occasional like cramps in my toe where it would bend and pull apart from my other toes and it would lock and it would just be so much pain and it would cause like Charlie horses in the back of my calf muscle up into my knee and I was just like, this has to go away. So I started taking my gabapentin more and it wasn't helping. And then they told me to try 
um, a muscle relaxer to see if that would help. And that did absolutely nothing. And I kept telling myself, how long can a muscle spasm last? Like, you know, when your eye twitches and it annoys the living hell out of you, like this is the same thing, but with the whole side of my foot from my heel running down the whole inside part of my foot all the way up to my big toe, which then makes my whole toe just sit there and twitch and twitch and twitch. And it got to the point where I'm like three weeks now into this happening and my toe constantly locking. And I'm just like, how much more of this can I take before I go in and ask? And I'm just like, my luck, I will make an appointment, I'll go in and then it won't do it. Even though it has never stopped doing it since the first week of January. But I just kept saying, it'll go away, it'll go away. I don't got the money for a freaking doctor's appointment. I don't got the money for, you know, a med if they told me to go purchase it and get on it anyway, if it would help. I, I just don't. So I just kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And then I'd say the first week, it was like the end of the first week of February. And you guys, this pain... I don't, I don't even know how to describe it, but I woke up with, <clears throat> when you try to sleep and you're constantly just feeling your toe twitch and twitch and twitch and pull and pull and then start to pull really tight and then start to lock and cramp, you, it's all you think about. It like consumes you. It consumes you. And I can't get this like, this it's, you know, I, I just, I can't focus on anything because I'm focusing on this stupid feeling and this muscle just constantly going. And it got to the point where it was so sore. It felt like just on that leg that I had run marathons, like just that achy, tired, weak feeling from this just muscle constantly spasming. And I ended up, um, one night I was laying there and I had my feet like straight out and I could feel that it was building up and building up and building up and I knew that my toe was going to like bend down and start pulling away from my other toes because I can feel it when it gets really bad to the point it's going to cramp and lock. So I, I kind of was trying to like roll my ankle around and just stretch my feet and my toes and as I'm doing that my whole entire foot like cranks to the side and my at my ankle and my entire flipping toes just cramped down pulled from my other toes and then all of my toes started like doing this crazy like do -do 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 twitch and my ankle was locked like completely contorted sideways and um I actually have a picture of that too I'll put that in here. Not that you guys want to see my nasty feet, but seriously, it looked like something out of the freaking Exorcist movies. Like, it was bad. It was really bad. And since that first week of February, when that happened, um, it has happened continuously. Probably, I'd say, right now I'm up to about probably three or four times a day where it locks like that. And when it first started doing that, it would last a minute to maybe five minutes. And it would freak me out and I'd be so scared and I can't walk and I can't move my foot. I can't unlock my ankle. I can't unlock my toe. So I would like freak and freak and freak out and just cry because the pain is so intense. And I am not a baby. Like I'm an Irish girl. I can handle pain. I can handle pain. I gave birth to all my children naturally. I would rather give birth to all my children naturally once a week than have to do deal with nerve pain and this new whatever it is that's going on. And that's not even a joke. Like, it's so extreme. So it started with, like I said, just a minute to a couple minutes and it would go away and then it would unlock and then it would just keep doing its twitching thing. And... It, it would drive me crazy. And that in itself, just the constant twitching, my whole left side from my hip down to my toe is just in so much pain. It's like it never stops moving and it's, it's just ridiculous. So then 
it was the second week of February and it was about a whole, yeah, it was about a week later and I was laying in bed and I had gotten up and I stretched and when I went to go stand up, I freaking biffed so hard, you guys. I just, boom, right down to the ground. My big butt went because once I put pressure on my feet to stand up, my ankle instantly locked, turned in, and my big toe just went whoosh, straight down and locked. And I laid on the floor for about a half an hour, crying and freaking out because it wouldn't stop. It would not let go. And it feels like your foot and my ankle, my toe, it feels like it just, like I stuck my foot in a concrete bucket and like it weighs a thousand pounds and it's so heavy, but yet there's my toe still just a twitching, um, the whole time. And I don't know how to explain it. And then after that specific time lasting for a whole half an hour, since then it's just got better and better. And by better and better, I mean worse and worse. Yesterday, I finally hit a breaking point because I ended up on the couch and feeling that it's coming. It's coming. I know it's coming. So I keep trying to stretch my feet and knowing that that's not going to do nothing. But yet in my head, I'm just like, can I stop it from coming? Oh my God, what do I do? Um, this whole scenario happened again and it it lasted for two hours. I was immobilized for two hours. I could have gotten up and hopped, I guess, on my other foot, but I was in so much pain. There was nothing I could do. Nothing. I called my mom. I called Rob. I was bawling. I'm like, I don't know what to do. This is, I can't do this anymore. I don't sleep at night as it is. Add this into the mix thinking at some point this is going to go away and it just won't. And I snapped. So I called the doctor and I told them what was going on and my nurse talked to my doctor. My doctor ended up calling me. Um, and she told me that she's really worried about the issues that I'm having and what I described to her because they can be signs of, well, I'm not even going to go there right now because in my mind, it's just because of the nerve damage in my feet. In my mind, this is just caused because of a pinched nerve in my spine or something and it can continually make your muscles twitch and spasm. And when your nerves are shot, it they just act all silly and goofy and start sending weird signals to places they shouldn't go. And I'm hoping that's the only thing that's really causing all of this. And I don't know if there's a way to fix it. But she, of course, tells me that there's this that they want to rule out. There's this that they want to rule out. And there's this other thing they want to rule out. And let me tell you, these are not things that I want wanted to hear at all. So I told her tomorrow would work. And she said, just come in. So tomorrow I will try to vlog, I guess, a little bit. I don't know what they're all going to do, but I know they're going to do quite a bit. And I'm just, I'm not looking forward to it. And part of me feels stupid for going in because people have pains and cramps all the time. I deal with nerve damage every day. And I just can't deal with it anymore. That makes me feel like a wimp. I don't know. I know I shouldn't think that way, but that is how I think. That is how I feel. And it's just, it's ridiculous to feel that way. And I tell myself that, but nonetheless, I still sit here feeling like a wimp, like a crybaby. Like other people deal with so much other things in their lives. And here I sit, wo woe is me crying about, you know, this issue that's going on. And compared to other people's issues, it's nothing. Or at least I hope it's nothing. <sighs> wow. I just went off on a rant. I don't know if that was a rant, but I mean, now you guys know. And as G.I. Joe says, knowing is half the battle. Okay, I'm going to go inside, take all my stuff in, and I will try to catch up with you guys later. If not, I think I probably have enough to end this vlog here. So, as always, you guys, stay random, and if you want to know what's going to happen, I guess at my doctor's appointment and all that, then you'll have to wait and stay tuned. 
until the next vlog. So if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. I do post videos probably two to three times per week, if not more. And stay random, my people. I love you lots. Thank you so much for the support and the love and for listening to me whine. One of these vlogs, I'm going to be insanely happy and shooting rainbows out my bum. And you guys are all just going to be like, oh, where's this girl been? Yay, yay, let's do this. I'm so happy. But until then, I just can't fake it. <laughs> one of those days, though, one of these days, it's going to happen. I'm going to be. I'm going to be that girl with the rainbow bum. Okay? All right. Bye, guys.